Education is our passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare us for it today. To our school's division superintendent, Ma'am Marcet D. Sabaluka, CISO 6. To our district supervisor, Sir Roger O. Palangat. To our beloved municipal mayor, Honorable Cicero D. Borromeo. To our barangay officials, headed by our barangay captain, Honorable Apolonio Lopez. To our school principal, Ma'am Monalisa E. Canyonera, and to our TIC, Ma'am Gemma O. Sabio. Parents, students, completers, and graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kaningay National High School Pi 1 Annex 6th Completion and 12th Graduation Ceremony. Vince Lombardi once said, The price of success is hard work dedication to the job at hand, and the determination that whether we win or lose, we have applied the best of ourselves to the task at hand. To highlight that amidst all the challenges brought about by the pandemic, this year's completion and graduation theme, strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic, gives priority to the learners' rights to inclusive and quality education and to safety from the health risks of COVID-19. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome the faculty and staff of Ganingay National High School Pi 1 Annex in their processional march. To start with, let us show our respect to our motherland by singing our Philippine National Anthem to be followed by a prayer to be led to us by Mom Ellen Grace Carman, Grade 7 Saturn Advisor. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magiging, Heavenly Father, our God and Savior, we thank you for the gift of life and the wonderful privilege of knowing you. Lord, at this time of completion and graduation day, we bring before you all these young lives that will be completing and graduating. We pray that each one remains firm in the truth that they have been taught throughout their youth and may each one grow into Christian maturity and come to know the Lord Jesus more and more with each passing day. As life opens up before each one and the temptations of the world seek to entice them away from the road of righteousness, hold each one steady and may your Holy Spirit be an ever-present help in time of trouble and an ever-present comfort in times of difficulty. Father, we ask for your guidance and wisdom as they walk through their next journey of their lives. 
and made a reflection of you, made their pattern in molding their own lives. All this we pray in the most precious name of Jesus. Amen. At this time around, here is the Department of Education's mission, vision, and core values. DepEd Vision. We dream of Filipinos who passionately love their country and whose competences and values enable them to realize their full potential and contribute meaningfully to building the nation. As a learner-centered public institution, the Department of Education continuously improves itself to better serve its stakeholders. DepEd Mission to protect and promote the right of every Filipino to quality, equitable, culture-based, and complete basic education where students learn in a child-friendly, gender-sensitive, safe, and motivating environment. Teachers facilitate learning and constantly nurture every learner. Administrators and staff, as stewards of the institution, ensure an enabling and supportive environment for effective learning to happen. Family, community, and other stakeholders are actively engaged and share responsibility for developing lifelong learners. DepEd Core Values Makadios, Makatao, Makakalikasan, at Makabansa Graduation is the ceremony when qualified students are conferred an academic degree by their school. It is the best time where our learners reap the fruits of their labor and sacrifices. It is when they pay tribute to the hardships of their parents and give honor to the teachings of their second parents, their teachers. It is the time when they are about to bid temporary goodbye to their classmates, friends, and alma mater. And with that having said, let us welcome Miss Regine Armangurai, this year's batch of computers representative, for her words of welcome. Our school division superintendent, Ma'am Marcet D. Sabalaka, CISO 6, to our public school district supervisor, Sir Roger O. Palangat, to our energetic principal, Ma'am Mona Lisa E. Canyonera, to our generous TIC, Ma'am Gemma O. Sabio, Beloved teachers, supporting the Rangay officials, headed by Honorable Apollonia Lopez. Beloved parents, friends, ladies, and gentlemen, a pleasant day. We are privileged to have this virtual completion ceremony regardless of the pandemic. We are proud to accomplish our task in order to be a part of this event. It's my great opportunity to thank you all for the love and support especially your guidance for reaching our goal. To everyone, let us celebrate this day with rejoicing and thanksgiving. On behalf of the computers, I, Regine Mangurai, welcome you all to this momentous event. God bless. Thank you, Ms. Mangurai, for your very warm welcome. At this juncture, let us lend our ears to our Division Superintendent, our original director, and finally, our DepEd secretary for their words of felicitations. On your graduation day, I congratulate all of you, dear graduates of Batch 2021. I salute your perseverance and personal resolve to meet the curriculum requirements that is factorially at the end of the school year, even with the challenges brought about by distance learning. I also congratulate your parents and guardians for allowing you continue and finish your education levels for the sacrifices believing that education would lead you to become your best self and for the stake that you become productive citizens in the future and a pride of the family. I extend my congratulations too to your teachers, your school head and the whole community for providing all opportunities for you to access education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. This is a bittersweet time for the class of 2021 as the pandemic disrupted students' dreams of attending their graduation ceremony, donning graduation outfits, going up the stage to receive diplomas, and having fun in graduation balls. Never despair, for graduating is a remarkable achievement and worth posing to celebrate even just in a virtual way. Still, let us celebrate the new normal in which not only learning happens to the various modalities adopted by the Department of Education, but also includes their graduation sans the ceremony. My dear graduates, 
As you venture on to your next destination, please bring the name of your school with dignity as you forward this year's theme, Strengthening the Quality of Education Amid the COVID-19 Pandemic. Seize all opportunities that open to you and make the most of each of them. Life is to be lived, explored, and enjoyed as well as a chance to make a difference in the world. Again, congratulations. Stand to be safe and may God bless and keep us in the hollow of His hands. Congratulations, dear graduates and completers of school year 2020-2021. You make us all look at the future with anticipation and pride. You have once again proven that true champions can thrive in the midst of the challenging realities of life. Your sheer grit and resilience have brought you this far in your lifelong pursuit of quality education. Your achievements call for a celebration. You have risen above the worst of times and have responded to the overwhelming demands of the new normal with Elan. Your education must not only be reflected in your report cards, but must be manifested in how you masterfully deal with life. An embodiment of courage, compassion, character, and competence. As you relish this moment, Remember to celebrate your success with our indefatigable advocates and champions of quality education. Teachers, parents, school administrators, education leaders, stakeholders, and friends, among others. Your success seals our triumph over trials. It propels our collective aspiration for a brighter future despite the limitations caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. This is just the beginning of a beautiful journey ahead. We firmly believe in your potential for success because in Deped Region 6, every child is a champion. As you cross this time of immense challenges and great opportunities, keep your passion for greatness alive. May your achievements inspire everyone to move forward with a renewed sense of hope, meaning, and purpose. Together, we shall rise as one. Ipadayon ta ang pagpalanggaanay. Once again, congratulations and mabuhay. A man of skills in the person of John Woodson once said, and I quote, Success comes from knowing that you did your best to become the best that you are capable of becoming. At this point in time, to present to us the candidates for completion, we have Ma'am Gemma Osabio, our school's teacher in charge. Madam Marcet D. Sabaluka, CISO 6, School Division Superintendent, represented by Mona Lisa E. Canyonera, Principal 1 of Caninay National High School, Maine. I have the honor to present to you the candidates for completion for the school year 2020-2021 of Kaningay National High School, Payawan Annex. Of whom 22 are male and 15 are female, a total of 37 completers. I, at this moment, certify that they have satisfactorily completed all the requirements of the junior high school program under K-12 Basic Education Curriculum as prescribed by the Department of Education. The candidates are now waiting for your confirmation. And to confirm our completers, we have our school's principal, Ma'am Mona Lisa E. Canyonera. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the school's division superintendent, Marcet D. Sabaluka, CESO 6 of the Department of Education, Division of Negros Occidental, who has been authorized by Secretary of Education, Leonor M. Briones, through the Regional Director of Region 6, Western Visayas, Ramir B. Oitico, CESO 4, to confirm the completion of students 
and upon the recommendation of the teacher in charge, Gemma O. Sabio of Kaningay National High School, Payawan Annex, having satisfactory completed the requirements of the secondary program under the K-12 basic education curriculum, I do hereby confirm and approve the completion of 22 male and 15 female with a total of 37 students of Kaningay National High School Payawan Annex for the school year 2020-2021. As such, they are now considered secondary completers entitled to receive a certificates with all the rights and privileges appertaining thereto. Congratulations! And to give to us our completers, let us have Ma'am Isel Jade Compendio, Grade 10 Emerald Advisor. The following are the Grade 10 Emerald Completers, School Year 2020-2021. Dexter S. Cabrera. Danny S. Cornelio Jevan D. De La Cruz John G. De La Cruz Julito Jr. V. De La Torre With honors, Alistair Jared A. Indino Jesse G. Galliano Dexter V. Gregorio Raden A. Infante Francis Mark T. Lindo Christian Mark P. Lingas George P. Mahinay Mickey P. Mahinay Rafael E. Misias John F. Militante Julian Mark C.J. A. Mortiz With honors, Rafael D. Nobleza John Lloyd A. Nonesco James A. Rialido Jade Christian Ray B. Salvan Fritchie O. Zinete Gerald A. Tuting With honors, Shalamay B. Basha, Ria L. Kaluoy, Nina Rose R. Claveria, Chenny O. Cordivelia, Junarida L. De La Vega. Christine C. Flores Mabel M. Flores Mary Joy J. Gasper With honors, Regine R. Manguray May Ann O. Nemenso Maylin O. Nemenso With honors Lubilin M. Pacheco With honors Stephanie C. Saldoa Florian Z. Tropicales 
Mary Rose Joy B. Villar. And finally, to present to us the candidates for graduation, let us have our TIC, Ma'am Gemma O. Sabio. Madam Marcet D. Sabaluka, CISU 6, Schools Division Superintendent, represented by Mona Lisa E. Canyonera, Principal 1 of Kaningay National High School Name. I have the honor to present to you the candidates for graduation for the school year 2020-2021 at Kaningay National High School, Payawan Annex, under the track U's, male 7, female 16, a total of 23. I hereby certify that they have satisfactorily completed all the requirements of a senior high school program under K-12 basic education curriculum as prescribed by the Department of Education. May I therefore request you to confirm their graduation. And to confirm our graduates, we have our school's principal, Ma'am Monaliza E. Canyonera. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the school's division superintendent, Marcet D. Sabaluka, CESO 6, of the Department of Education, Division of Negros Occidental, who has been authorized by the Secretary of Education, Leonor M. Briones, through the Regional Director of Region 6 Western Visayas, Ramir B. Oitiko, CESO 4, to confirm the completion of students and upon the recommendation of the teacher in charge, Gemma O. Sabio, of Kaningay National High School, Payawan Annex, having satisfactorily completed the requirements of the senior high school program under the K-12 basic education curriculum. I do hereby confirm and approve the graduation of 7 male and 16 female with a total of 23 humanities and Social Sciences students of Kaningay National High School, Payawan Annex for school year 2020-2021. As such, they are now considered senior high school graduates entitled to receive certificates with all the rights and privileges appertaining thereto. Congratulations! And to give us our graduates, we have Ma Mercy Galvan, Grade 12 Gold Advisor. I'm proud to present to you the graduates of Academic Track Humes for the school year 2020-2021. James P. Coletta, Rowen S. Cornelio, Patrick M. Desalio. Ricardo Jr. L. Castenia, Christian Lazaro P. Cabera, Jan Paul G. Cabinas, Aaron P. Cubara, Brian A. Ablaza, Cherry Mayne V. Cabarles, Shen Hope B. Cabarles, Cyril Grace H. Claveria, J. Ann P. Doming, Argilen M. Dusalio, Delsa S. Gamao, Hassel T. Gonzaga, Rika A. Infante, Marcel T. Hampolina, Sirin C. Ladimora, Karen P. Lingas, Liza M. Pacheco, Jenilyn A. Realido, Mary Joy M. Similia. Congratulations! It is said that the quality of a person's life is in direct proportion to his or her commitment to excellence, regardless of the chosen field of endeavor. At this moment, let us take a minute to listen to the words of inspiration to be given to us by our guest speaker. 
and to introduce to us our speaker, let's welcome our Grade 9 Sardius Advisor, Sir Ricarty S. Obara. Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to introduce you our guest speaker this momentous event. Our guest speaker was born on September 8, 1999 at Purok Katmon Barangay Agboy, Kanduni, Negros Occidental. She finished her elementary education at Payawan Elementary School, school year 2011-2012 as with honors. She took her secondary level junior high school at Kaningay National High School, Payawan Annex. School year 2015-2016 as valedictorian and continued her senior high school at Carico G. Manzano Memorial National High School in Finnish in the year 2018. Her tertiary level at Norso Santa Catalina Campos school year 2018-2019. Recently, she works as Philippine Coast Guard at Tugigaraw City, Cagayan. The daughter of Mr. Floro Cabarles and Mrs. Helen Cabarles. Join me in welcoming her, our very own alumna, CGNO Hanilin De La Cruz Cabarles, Philippine Coast Guard. Maayong adlaw sa inyo nga tanan. So to our school's division superintendent, Marcet D. Sibaluca, CISO 6, District Supervisor Roger O. Palangat, PhD, to our school principal, Ma'am Mona Lisa E. Canyonera, Principal 1, Teacher in Charge, Gemma Osavio, Parents, Students, Completers, and Graduates, Maayong Adlaw Gate sa inyo nga tanan. So I am very happy and lucky that I am the chosen one to be your guest speaker for today. And of course, I came from our beloved school, Kaningai National High School, Paiwan Annex, year 2015-2016. So, despite of the pandemic, you graduates have completed. So I'm very lucky to see you and I'm very happy to have you to be graduate in my alma mater. It's because it was shown that pandemic is not the reason and hindrance for you to reach your gym. Right me like now, what I am right now is of course what I am like you before. Still I am a student with the theme of strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. So it was literally means that you are the result of it. It was shown the how strong the education is. It's because na biskan nga pandemic hindi makita ay kabudlay. Still, there is a there is ways and there's a reason for you to be in school. Just like online schooling, just like a virtually and modular and modular. See how our educational management find their ways for you to have the good value education. So you are very lucky for that. And I know after this, you will go to your different colleges you wanted to. But then, of course, after that, you will find a job. And I'm very happy how that school molded me and how the school became of who I am. But of course, I was very thankful for the teachers and personnels behind of it. It's because they are always there for you to guide and molded you. But of course, that being a family, being your second family at school. So you are lucky enough. So I want to tell you, go on your dreams despite of the difficulties. It's because... I was like you before what I am right now. Although I already got more work, still, I can share it with you that the faculties I have done being a student. But that's just a normal. This is just you have started. So go on, find your ways, 
and don't stop dreaming although how this pandemic will find ways to stop you but no you are more stronger the pandemic we are more stronger than it and of course we are very thankful for the educational management who make our education more efficient and effective. So I'm very happy and proud of you guys, uh, graduates and completers, this year 2021. Thank you, ma'am, for that very inspiring message that is not only meant for our students, but for all of us. They say that an ending means a new beginning. And to give us her farewell address, we have our graduates' representative, Ms. Hassel Gonzaga. A journey of thousand miles begins with a single step. To our school division superintendent, Marcet D. Sabaloka, CISO 6. To our untiring and supportive mayor, Honorable Cicero D. Bormeo. To our public school district supervisor, Sir Roger O. Palangat. To our barangay officials headed by Honorable Apolonio L. Lopez, to our ma beloved principal, Ma'am Mona Lisa E. Canyonera, to the faculty and staff headed by our motherly and energetic teacher in charge, Mrs. Gemma O. Sabio, to my beloved parents, teachers, friends, and fellow graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, my gratitude to have you all in this momentous event in our lives. Graduation is the day we celebrate the triumph of success despite of this pandemic, overcoming difficulties and ready to start a new journey, and coming together to face the end of our high school lives. Being graduated in high school is one of our set goals before, and now the time has come. I'm proud to say that we all graduates, though we never experienced this year a face-to-face -face classes, but still, we do our best to make everyone proud. I know it's not yet the end of our journey, but of course, the beginning of our new life exploration. Now, we are harvesting the six years sowed seeds that our teachers watered, take care, motivated, guided, and loved just to have bountiful and abundant harvest. The feeling of our parents now is like a bomb that a moment from now will explode because I know that they are very proud and happy to see us all being graduated, especially to my mother who always there to support me in every inch of my decision. A thankful heart is not only the greatest virtue, but the parent of all virtues. To my parents, despite of your broken love, you will always be my number one. To my sister and brothers, especially to my Manang Che, who experienced hard work in abroad, just to support my desire, you will always be my big sister. To my family, thank you so much and I love you all. Teachers are the greatest inspiration for a young mind in an ever-changing world. To my dear teachers, thank you so much for giving us your knowledgeable lessons, even though through modules, but still, we all feel the presence of your love and guidance. You shared a big part in our lives. I promise that no matter what, when, where, and who we are someday, I will never forget this memories we cherish together in this alma mater together with my fellow graduates. To my fellow graduates, soar high. Let's all chase our dreams together and surprise those people who discriminate our capacity. To my alma mater, CNHS Paiwan Annex, I'm very proud to be one of your students, and I promise that wherever I am Sunday, I will always proud to tell others that I am Paiwanians, a graduate of CNHS Paiwan Annex, which is what made the imparted learnings that I learned from this institution will always be mine. I'm Hazel T. Gonzaga, class of 2020-2021 is now signing off. Thank you, Ms. Gonzaga. At this juncture, we have Ms. Shen Hope Cabarles for the Pledge of Loyalty to our dear alma mater. Pledge of Loyalty With a solemn sense of responsibility and steadfast loyalty, we, the senior high graduates of the school year 2020-2021, do hereby solemnly swear to hold our certificate as a sacred trust, 
to uphold the name of our school with untarnished honor to be useful citizens, to serve God with humility and faithfulness, with fidelity to my country and my fellow men. Thank you, Ms. Cabarles. And now, let us take a moment as we listen to our alma mater song. Hail, coming I, dear, for thee will fight and die. We, thy loyal sons and daughters all, will always heed to thy earnest call. March on to glory for fame and victory. Onwards, till onwards, to the world's wide golden fields. Our aims are high to reach our goal. The Lord will guide us to heed thy call. Dear alma mater, beloved school, noble is thy name to keep our love aflame. Every time we sing this song to thee, our brave hearts beat with glee. Onward, our dear school, for thee will fight and die. Onward, still onward, the world's wide golden fields. Our aims are high to reach our goal. The Lord will guide us to heed thy call. Dear alma mater, beloved school. Congratulations to you, dear graduates and completers. At this moment, let us hear the message of acknowledgement to be given to us by our teacher in charge, Ma'am Gemma O. Sabio. The faculty of Kalingay National High School, Payawan Annex, would like to express our heartfelt thanks and gratitude to the deeply officials, parents, and students for the unwavering support and unquenchable thirst in search for wisdom that led to this somehow chaotic but a real success, completion, and graduation amidst the pandemic. And the most of all, let us be thankful to our Almighty God, our Creator, and our Savior, for without Him, the things would not be possible. Thank you. God bless. Be safe always. Good day and congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. And finally, to wrap things up, we have Ma'am Noralyn Lakson for our closing prayer. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for your holy grace and abundant blessings bestowed upon our graduates and completers as they and their families celebrate this another milestone. May they find comfort from our community's continued embrace and support as they journey through life. Thank you for the blessings and guidance and hearing for this supplication. Forgive us for the sins that we committed against you. May in words we speak, in our thoughts, and in our actions. We ask this in the name of our Holy Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.